one last look at the PoE section control before I tear it apart. I gotta keep moving and make the PoE GPS unit. Today I'm gonna show, I got the 15th and 16th relays working. Activating the relays one at a time. Fifteen and sixteen used to not work, but now they work. What's going on with that is the RX and TX, the debug that they have in Ag Open GPS was hogging that. I don't even use that. I don't think anybody does. Once it works, you, you don't really need it. Have it set up so that the serial begin is commented out, and now I can use those pins all on UDP and all powered up by PoE. You might be wondering, what's this one doing here? Had the idea, hey. You know what? It's UDP. Everything's looking at one port and one variable. I'll give this one a different IP address. And since the 15th and 16th section light up these two lights, when you activate them, be able to see if we'd be able to talk to two boards at once. If you go into the settings, you go into your implement, you go over to sections. So this is where you'd set up your section. You can have 16 currently but you could easily have 32 or 64 or a whole pile more. If we go down to where we set them up. So this is really good. I really like this. You can choose any of these to be anything. So you can have it be geostop, tram, left, tram, right, hydraulics, up or down. Uh, all we'd have to do to have more sections is just have more on this page, just a crazy amount more. For network section control, what I had to do was just had to change the IP address of the interface board for the second one. I had to just comment out the first one. I just left them there so it'd be easier to switch between the two. In the configuration, I have uh, all of the sections set up permanently so that they're easy to use. I had to disable this one line here. So the serial begin was used for debugging. That was also hogging those two pins so that I couldn't get the 15th and 16th section to work. Put the comments in there and this grayed out, all of a sudden those two pins would work. It's using a uint8 variable size. So that could carry 255 sections. If they just want to open it up more on the PC side, you could hook up as many PoE sections as you wanted, and then you just have to keep on addressing them. Currently the second board, uh, the pin setup is identical to the first board, just so we can see the 15, 14th and 15th pin here. So that would be section 15 and 16 working. If we really wanted to get a pile of sections, already made out for another 16 section we would need an ag open to be able to configure more than 16 sections and then this would work so we'd have up to 32 sections just with this just continue this pattern and then you would have as many sections as you want up to 255 so there's 15 and 16 triggering on both on fusion 360 i learned how to make a circuit board and this will take the nano and it'll take all the outputs and it'll put it over to this header. And then the header will go over to the $25 relay module and make it really easy to do section control. And the next step after this would be making the PoE work on the same board and then also having the ethernet integrated into the same board. This board, small ribbon cable to the PCB, this would be on the PCB and you have section control. I don't think it would get much easier than that. If you want to multiply it, I think that'll be coming up in the future because if you think of like a sprayer, it's fairly easy to get tons of sections if you want to do one nozzle. Ag Open GPS, I think, can handle it.